So for this problem, we're going to be finding the F angle. Yes. Okay. So they give us the cosine and the quadrant that the triangle is going to be in. And they want us to find sine of theta divided by 2. So first, we're going to draw our triangle. And since it's between 90 and 180, it's going to be like this. And they give us the cosine amounts. So that means that the adjacent is going to be negative 4. And the hypotenuse is going to be 5. And knowing our Pythagorean triples, the side angle is just going to be 3. So now we have all the sides of our triangle. So now we look on our unit circle for our identities and sine of theta divided by 2 will be plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine theta over 2. So plugging in what we know, it's going to be 1 minus negative 4 over 5 divided by 2. And we'll plug that in separately. So 1 minus negative 4 over 5 is going to equal 1.8 divided by 2 equals point. So we'll square root that, but to make it easier, we'll put it into a fraction. So math enter enter. So that's going to equal the square root of nine over ten. So to simplify that, we can do square root of nine. Square root is ten. Ten. And the square root of nine is going to equal three. So that'll be three over square root of ten. But then we can simplify that even further to get rid of the square root on the bottom. So that would be three square root of 10 over 10. And that'll be our final answer. Okay, for this problem, we are now going to find the double angle because it asks for sine two of theta. So they give us our cosine amount and they tell us that the triangle is going to be between 180 and 275. So we're gonna draw our triangle over here. And because they give us our cosine, we can now label the sides. So over here, it's gonna be negative four, hypotenuse is gonna be five, and knowing our Pythagorean triples, this side is gonna be negative three. So now we just find our unit circle, the double angle identity that we're gonna to have to use to find sine two of theta. So that is going to be 2 sine of theta times cosine of theta. And since we have our triangle, we can now plug in what we know. So it's going to be 2 negative 3 over 5 times negative 4 over 5. We can just put that in the calculator and then math enter enter to get a fraction. And the answer is going to be 24 over 25. Alright, for this problem, we're going to find the tangent of negative 30 using angle addition and subtraction. So for this one, we have to figure out which angles add or subtract to equal negative 30. So the numbers that we're going to use is going to be 30 minus 60 degrees. Alright, and now since we have our tangent A and tangent B values, we can now look on our addition and subtraction identities to find which equation of tangent A minus B. So that will be tangent of A minus tangent of B over one plus tangent of A times tangent of B. And now we can just plug in what we know. So, 
that will be tangent of 30. Or no, not tangent of 30. It would just be. Well, yeah, actually, tangent of 30 minus tangent of 60 over 1 plus tangent of 30 times tangent of 60. So now we can actually put that in our tangent terms. So it's going to change to square root of 3 over 3 minus square root of 3 over 1 minus square root of 3 over 3 times square root of 3. And we can't simplify this anymore, so this is going to be our final answer.